welcome to our new video uh, today we're going to learn how to reset your ID in MySQL uh, table to go back and uh, restart from one you know you can create maybe thousands of IDs and then what happens maybe you delete some when you delete some that number which is deleted is not replaced in MySQL so once it's deleted uh, let me say we delete 17 when I create another uh, one is gonna go to 18 19 so it leaves the, that space the system always leaves that space and that's something sometimes you might not like to see in your program you understand so guys who are using mysql and php uh or mysql and another language i don't know but that's the problem we're going to solve today so uh go to uh local host if you use you you, you you're working on a local server it's fine or we're working on on live server doesn't matter login once you log in, uh, for instance, we're gonna have a table here. Uh, I'm gonna look for one of the tables. Gonna go to employees, employees table. Uh, we get that. We open that table. After opening the table, what's gonna happen is uh, you can see the ID is 15. I'm gonna create insert in two numbers for now. Uh, I won't put in the ID because it's auto incremented. So I'm gonna go here and put a name. It's gonna be as uh, Awesome. Uh, surname we can say uh, we can call send any surname maybe Birmingham uh, um, okay I wonder if I got it right so email address we can put any email address at uh, gmail.com so once we're done with that I won't fill in other fields what I'm gonna go I'm gonna skip and I go to another place where I'm gonna put another uh, thing name so what we're gonna go his name is gonna be do okay martins okay that's fine guys the email address is gonna be do martins uh, at gmail.com you know gmail is as popular as water these days i don't know so you go to another if you want but i'm gonna save that for now and say go okay i've created two ids i which is gonna you see uh, inserted row 17 two rows which is caused until to the 17th row you can see 15 16 17 right but now this is the first thing in the in the table um um this is the first id in the table you want it to be at least one two three four you don't want your ids to start from that so whatever you want to do you can do it everything is possible so i've seen a lot of people showing this answer on on what on on stack overflow on other platform but pl platforms but they don't explain this this is what they don't explain someone's gonna say you do this which is true but i'm gonna explain why it doesn't work and why you shouldn't use it and why and when you should use it so this one says you say oh, alt table okay then we're gonna put employees okay this is our table we put the table name then we say space then we say auto increment auto increment which is this then after that then we say equals to the value the value we want okay say one okay we give it a one okay so once we give it a one then we're gonna see uh, put semicolon and the, then we're gonna do what we're gonna try to run that code say go the code runs 100% no errors no what you saw it I come here okay and I click but you can see nothing changed why the reason is this code does not work on something which is in ODB our DB is in ODB this one so uh, in the table is in ODB for in ODB. So let me show you. It could work, I think, on my ISM. Uh, let me see structure, uh, relationships. Uh, what I'm talking about here is uh, your table engine. The engine of the table, it shouldn't be in ODB. That's why that code does not work on that. So we can also test it if you want on another table if we can then it will work 
I believe so. But now I'm gonna run another code which is gonna help us to 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 what to work. Also, that code works, but it doesn't work on InnoDB tables. So that's why I'm trying to tell people that the answer is right, but now they don't tell you when and where to use it. Don't use it on the table which has you know DB engine. Understand? So believe on my assignment can work something like that so i wanted to show you something like to see the tables engine something like that uh so that you get you see operations uh you can see this our tables you know db you can see this the storage engine is you know db so that's why that it didn't work you, you saw so uh if you go to tables like uh I got a table here called users but let me first give you the uh the password which uh the what the codes which gonna help you on these kind of tables then we're gonna take it from there so this is the thing you're gonna use uh you can see that the ids never change but we're gonna write a new code which is gonna uh unlock that key so now what you do you say set um Let's make it capital set uh, space. Then we say at the at sign. Then num which is n u m. You can make it small letters space. Then you put colony equals to zero. Then semicolon. Then you say space down space. You can put another space. I put two spaces. Then you say uh, let me put it to be capital letters up date. If you say update, okay space. Uh, what we, we're gonna get here, we're gonna get our table. In my case, it's employees. Employees. In your case, it could be something else. Okay. Take that table. You want to uh, changes to be made. You make space. You say set. Then make space. Then you say emp ID. You take the ID. In my case, it's emp ID, employee ID. Then we say equals to, you can put a space. We say equals to, uh, at num uh, which is gonna be small letters num space then we say uh, colony equals to put a space then you put brackets inside you put at sign the at sign then you say num which is gonna be small letters this time num plus you use a plus sign gonna be plus one okay we put a one here then after by the end we put a what what they say this so after putting that just know that we are fine so once we find by that we come down here and we can say uh, alter table we're gonna alter table alter alter table okay we can put that here that you remember what we did last time you can say alter table employees auto increment one okay then we're going to do this and we run our our what our code this is the code we're going to use so after that I'm gonna run the code no problems nothing okay uh, after that we just got a simple warning here but then we're gonna go to browse our stuff here and say okay you can see our numbers have been changed to what to one two three one two three you see they were 15 17 whatever so this code is the one we have to use on InnoDB. so what I've, I'm gonna do guys don't worry I'm going to put this code these codes on what in in the description below and guys if you like the con com, if you like if it didn't work on your table comment and tell us which kind of table you're using which kind of engine you're using how do you see your engine you go to operations then you find this you can see so once you find this you go here storage engine you tell us which engine you used um i'm gonna get you one table i'll promise to get you guys and uh, though i won't change something because it's a little bit hectic there I'm gonna look for users table. Uh, let me go here. Uh, I wanna show you that the the database uh, the the engines are not the same. User 
okay i'm gonna go to this one okay i'm gonna click on uh, what they call uh, non privileges operations you can see on operate okay also this one is in odb but uh, i wanted to show you okay let me scroll down here you can find a table which is under my isam so this one the first code could work on this but it cannot work on this on the in odb that's what i wanted to show you let me see if i can get one of those tables if i don't get it's gonna be bad luck for us but it's no problem so we're gonna come here back and we click and say user okay uh, i think uh, i don't have nothing like that i thought i had one but uh, yo no guys i don't have one but it's okay anyway but what i want to show you here is uh we, 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 we the, the first code we made it can't work here it can only work here i believe but the second code works here so that's the thing i wanted to rectify that some people they put the codes and they don't tell you why you use this why we don't use this thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and also please leave a comment if you have any comment and if the code you liked it please don't forget to do what to share it on Facebook and uh, Twitter and each and every uh, social media. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.